Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today I want to talk about some regulation stuff happening in the United States and Zimbabwe. Also some updates coming out of Coinbase and Circle. But first, let me remind you that I am not a financial advisor, so everything I say here is only my opinion. So please take the time, do your own due diligence, and then remember to never invest anything that you are unwilling to lose. All right, so first let's talk about some regulation happening here in the United States. Um, this is the United States Department of Justice is investigating price manipula manipulation in the Bitcoin market. So basically they are saying they're in investigating whether or not there are big whales who are manipulating the price because they can. So um, they are looking into spoofing and wash trading in particular. And spoofing is where you put out a, an order, a buy or a sell order, with the intention of to, to lure in other traders, like bots, for instance. Um, but then you intend on tr canceling that order before it's filled. And then um, there's also wash orders where people can um, make an order, a, a buy order and a sell order and execute them at the same time where their position isn't changing, but the trade volume is increasing. So it looks like um, there's more activity happening um, with that asset. So the Department of Justice is looking into this and um, this says that the U.S. authorities are reportedly concerned that cryptocurrency markets are prone to manipulation for a number of reasons, including doubts that all trading venues are on the lookout for fraudsters, massive price swings that make it possible to steer valuations, and a lack of strong regulations on crypto exchanges. I, I think a lot of that, though, is really a lot of what's most appealing to small investors um, in cryptocurrency. Like, you know, like a decentralized exchange doesn't have a lot of regulation, but it has a lot of transparency. So, you know, I, I think that as people here who are who are in crypto, we probably see this a little bit differently than the DOJ, who is really looking for more of an everybody type of, of rule. So um, anyway, uh, they also say here, yeah, that's what I basically said. So they, they're not generally known to be well, people in crypto are not generally known to be welcoming towards regulation. And um, it was only recently revealed that American regulators also took part in a crackdown on what they call fraudulent ICOs and crypto asset investment products. So do you think it, are cryptocurrency prices manipulated and is it the DOJ's job to step in here? This is a global market and who the heck is the DOJ, the DOJ to think that they're in charge of everything that happens in the world? So. Um, I know I am personally enjoying a lot of decentralized exchanges right now and um, all the freedoms that come along with using those. So there we go. That's the update on the DOJ. There's also um, an interesting uh, article over here on CryptoVest, and this is coming out of the Weiss Reporting Agency is saying that as um, so as the United the the Federal Reserve is planning to rewrite some of the rules that are uh, some of the Volcker rules and what the Volcker rules do is they prevent um, banks from investing their capital in things that are too volatile. So uh, they are looking to uh, relook at how some of this is framed um, and that's going to happen on May the 30th. So they're discussing a modification of the Volcker rule. It's not really anticipated that they're going to roll it back, or you know, change, or or make any really big drastic changes. But um, what the Weiss agency here is saying is that if they do change some of the rules and allow uh, banks to make more volatile uh, trades, and, and that's with with funds that are protected by deposit insurance. So they're saying that you know if they start doing things that are more that are more volatile, then people will certainly see cryptocurrency as a way to hedge against that volatility in the fiat market. So um, pretty interesting stuff happening. Again, this Federal Reserve meeting is going to is going to take place on the 30th of May. And then more regulation news is it appears that the ban on, on cryptocurrency in Zimbabwe has been 
lifted, or at least on, on Bitcoin. So um, here is a tweet here that says the RBZ ban on cryptos was lifted by the high court. Administrative justice is alive and well in this jurisdiction. Section 68 of the Constitution is our best friend, which is great to hear for the people of Zimbabwe because, of course, their fiat currency is like not worth anything. So that they can actually try to, to seek shelter in cryptocurrencies is really great for the people of Zimbabwe to be allowed to make those decisions for themselves. And that's really the most important part to me is that people are allowed to make the decisions for themselves regarding what it is that they are comfortable with and where they want to put their money. Okay, next up. Uh, Coinbase here has announced that they are no longer going to be GDAX. They are, the GDAX exchange is now Coinbase. Coinbase Pro. So if you already have a GDAX, um, GDAX login credentials, if you already have an account there, you just use your login credentials um, and sign into Coinbase Pro. This is supposed to just be an improved user interface, and I think it's probably less confusing to people um, who are using Coinbase. What is GDAX? You know, I, I know um, people who are just getting started often see that uh, don't quite see the connection there. So uh, that they're changing this over to Coinbase Pro. I think that makes sense for them from a marketing standpoint. But um, that is, and that, that's already happened. So that was, I think, yesterday was when this uh, Medium post was posted. So that already has happened. So if you have a GDAX account, go over and take a look ah, sorry, B, at what Coinbase Pro is doing over there. Uh, in more, more Coinbase news, um, Coinbase is, or has acquired Paradex which is a relay platform that will allow customers to take tr to trade hundreds of tokens directly from their wallets. And the move not only reinforces Coinbase's commitment to investing in decentralized infrastructure and participating in the nascent world of wallet-to-wallet -wallet trading, but also our focus on the international crypto trader. After making some product enhancements, we will initially offer this experience to customers outside of the United States and eventually to US customers. So that is the update here on Coinbase. And finally, there is a new product coming out from Circle, which if you remember, um, Circle is the company. So it's uh, Goldman Sachs backed, well, they're backed by a whole bunch of VCs really, but uh, they, were, they did get a lot of funding from Goldman Sachs. And they have been focusing a lot on institutional investors and ways to, um, ways to attract those types of investors. Um, and they also recently came out with the USDC, which is their own stablecoin. And now they are announcing a, um, a product that is intended towards uh, retail cryptocurrency investors, brand new cryptocurrency investors who are looking to get their feet wet. And it's called Buy the Market. And it is going to allow uh, users to invest in seven different cryptocurrencies. It's gonna be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Zcash, Monero, and Ethereum Classic. And um, you can just basically invest in all seven listed cryptos simultaneously. Uh, users also get to decide how much they wish to put in their portfolio. And by the market uses a weighted allocation framework to distribute the funds among the seven cryptos using their market capitalization. The minimum investment sum is $1, while the maximum weekly limit is $10,000. Um, of course, these lower levels will allow less of a paper trail to be created with the transactions that are happening with some of the other um, offerings that Circle has that, for, that are geared more towards in, institutional investors. You know, you're dealing with a lot more paperwork and a lot more trail for the individual transactions that are happening. So this is geared toward just the retail end user for cryptocurrency. So um, they are, I mean, this is just a, a part of, Circle is really, and I, I mean, you can feel however you want about it, but you know, Circle, they have been around since 2013 um, and they are really offering a whole host of different cryptocurrency investment options. So, I mean, they're doing OTC trading, they are doing, they bought Poloniex, they have the stable coin, and they're doing this by the market. So they are in a little bit of everything, and I certainly think it is um, a company to keep an eye on. So I'll do that. 
All right, that's it for today. If you liked the video, then please do leave a like. If you'd like to see more from me, then please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section. And as always, I'd like to thank you very much for your time today, and I will see you next time.